Okay, we're following Roger's video. It's very good. Follow it through. I've done it now. So what you need from this, these links here, you're going to need the USB driver for the Retivis RT3S. You're going to need the MD9600 bin file, uh, which is used in the update process. And that is here where it says passion. You're going to need the, the programming software for open G GD77 and the latest one is download here it, here it is download CPS latest then you're going to need the, the original Retivis software as well and there's also a link for that I think that one's there you need to see the programming software for the RT73 once you've got all that watch the rest of the video I've made a few videos on that and then you'll see my results and I'm literally just trying this out now we will now open the CPS for the RT3S. This is the original Retivis CPS. And we will read the radio, radio that we've just done. We're now going to select Control T. We get this window and we're going to save the test data as advised. We're going to call it Test Data. And just save it somewhere where we'll find it on the desktop normally. desktop to save it I'll find it later okay close that down now we're going to turn the radio off and put it into DFU mode so turn it off and we hold the, the PTT and the button above okay we've just done that now flashing red and green, it should show if you go right click device manager and look at, where is it, universal, I always look in ports but no you look in universal and it says STM device in DFU mode so we're happy with that. Okay so let's, we don't, let's just minimize that for a minute with my son's thing. Okay, this is the page we've been using thanks to Roger, which is VK3KYY. It's got a whole video how to do this, it's just me doing it at home. Now we're going to click the little file we've got with everything on it. And we're going to open the OpenGD77 co plug. We're going to choose radio type and then select the bottom one, MD9600. Now extras, and then we're going to go firmware at the bottom. Okay, click MDUV3, and we're going to select the donor file. So this is the MD9600 bin, which is here. We're going to double click that. That's an OK. Now the radio is in DFU mode. So now we're going to select open firmware file and update and it should put OpenGD77 onto my radio and we know that when it finishes it's going to look a bit weird. Now we've downloaded the OpenGD77 firmware and I showed you that before so we'll double click that and it's that this is what we expect to see. The radio just goes black so we're doing this live and then what we're going to then do is add in our back up the flash and then add in our co-plug yeah so it's booted up and you can see there hopefully it says settings updated which is what we expected to see so we'll just close that down now that window and then we're going to go to extras open GD we're going to do the backup flash as, re as, as recommended that does take a while, so we'll give that a minute. And the radio says on the front, backup flash. And hopefully once we uh, put the CPS, that we, we created a very basic code plug, let's call it. Just a few channels for now. Get to learn this, learn the Open GD seventy seven, and um, fast forward past this part if it's uh, a bit boring. So 
Let's get our, learn our way around it. I want to test it out, running it as a hotspot, just as on the Blue DV system, the Pi Star system. These backups of the test files and this, I'll probably email them to myself so they can't lose them because you know what it's like with computers after several months things get deleted and you don't realize but it went on straightforward once you've got the correct files it's gone on to the rt3s no problem at all so thanks very much to the team there who created this software and it's black and white at the moment who knows they might add color i mean once they now that they've got the versatility and the ability to do it on the RT3S, which has got a very easy radio to get. There's a lot of second-hand ones around, and they're quite low-priced. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice experimental DMR radio. Okay, so we're going to save it as um, my backup. And like I said, I'm going to email that to myself. The, whole, the reason behind that is so that you... You know, you if you want to return the radio exactly as it was when you got it, you can. So now it says seconds updated. Now I'm just going to follow what I saw uh, Roger do. He installed satellite caps. So I'm just going to do what he did. Okay. He did install right voice prompts. I, I didn't seem to have them here. So I'll have to find out where you get those files from because you've got firmware. Yeah, there's nothing there at all. So we'll move on. Can't find the voice prompts. We'll go down to the extras, download the database. Let's try radio.net, see if that does it. Otherwise, we do have a CSV file. We could try that as well. Something's happening. There you go, and the radio says settings updated. So I'm going to click right to radio. It says the radio says DMRID database. This is actually working a bit better than the video that I watched. Then, okay, well that's good, close that, I'm going to click the OK button just to see what the screen looks like, so yeah we've got the weird figures on the screen, so now I'm going to write the code plug, so what we're going to do now is go extras, open GD7 support, then we're going to select right code plug to radio. We've done those other things. And hopefully when it comes back to life, we'll have a radio that looks like normal. So there you are. Let's, we'll, do, we'll do some close-up now of the radio and see what we've got now. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the OpenGD77 firmware into the RT3S, and it's excellent. I've only been on it for about three minutes, just had a chat in America on Talk Group 91. Sounds great. Am I yeah, fine, Doug. Well, uh, yes, we... Uh, and my audio re report back was very good, very as it would be with a RT3S or an MD380. They're a very tried and tested radio, but this has different firmware. So I just thought I'd show you a close-up of the menu. Uh, otherwise, the radio operates fine and you know I'll just watch me what I do and you'll see how the actual top knob uh, the sort of channel change knob is also helping us with the with the the menu as well so let's have a close-up right, we'll just turn that down a bit so let's just go up and down the menu so we'll start at the top if there is a top and we're just gonna look at a few things and, and just select them so let's start from firmware info and work our way down so we'll select using the green button, and there's our firmware info. Go back with the red button, down, we've got language, lots of languages there. Down, options, so we've got display options, which I, I just used. 
select and then we turned the top middle knob to make it brighter and darker and we'll just go up and down those selections within that and there's so much I mean look color invert we did that mobile mode auto main minimum brightness brightness that we're on time time zone battery contact order color invert okay then we'll go back one we're going to go to sound options go down one and then we're going to select it with green and then we're going to turn the knob again to adjust time out beep let's go up and down beep volume time out dmr receive vox tail vox threshold fm mic gain dmr mic gain so we've got mic gain there okay we'll go back then we'll go to general options green button we are going to use the hotspot i want to give that a go tonight hopefully hotspot off we're definitely going to try that out you connect it to a cable you can connect it to Blue DV or a normal Pi Star hotspot, and then you just select it in your Pi Star settings. You select the uh, MMDVM to be an Open GD77, and it, and it works. I've seen it work. I've, I've been told by people that have tested. Auto power off. SAT manual. Not sure what that is. APO GPS off. So that's. I'm going to turn that on. And oh, that's who's talking now. Like. Probably shouldn't hold the channel too, too long. So I'll just push the menu again. Options. General options. GPS. Then you turn the knob to turn it on. So that's, that's on now. And, uh, anyway, Sat manual. Oh, yeah, we've got satellite mode. Key long. Yeah, the long and short key for the programmable buttons. Key repeat. Leave hotspot off. Temperature look. Battery. Oh, that good, Brian. Well, say hello to Judy for Auto power off. Okay, and then we'll go back. We're going to go down to radio options. Select band limit. Filter time. User power. DMR. What was that one? I missed that one. DMR. Not sure what that is. Allow PC. UHF squelch. PT latch. UHF squelch 45, yeah, we know what that is, VHF squelch, and it actually says 220 squelch, so you're telling me that this radio does 220 megahertz, that's news to me, PTT, DMR latch, I'm going to go back, so we've looked at all those options, and then, then there's, let's look at what we've got here, last heard, can we scroll that, no, but there's last heard, back, Radio info. That's the battery. Looks like the battery anyway. Satellite. Now we probably haven't got a GPS lock, but let's push it anyway. Not set. So we need to set. Yeah, I did see that in the instructions that it won't work unless you put in your location and things like that. So GPS we've turned on zone. We've got a few zones in here. They're the zones that I've put in, but it will hold many, many zones. We've even got my open spot four in there. We'll play with that later. Contacts. I've only put in about 10 contacts. DMR. There you go. That's the contacts that I put in. And we, it looks like we're going up and down with the arrows. If I choose a different one, does that mean it's going to change? I'll just do it just to see if it does. And then we'll go back. 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 No, it's still on the same contact that I was on which was talk group 91 menu again uh, contacts channel details that says hotspot says the frequency the mode the time slot and eco whatever that is rssi is that just a signal meter is it or it's sound november 4 charlie, charlie it looks like it's sound Firmware info, language options, last heard. Let's put that in. That's who just called through. Radio info, GBIT. So there you go. That's a, that's a quick overview. And uh, I just think it looks fantastic. And you've got to think about the, you know, the potential for this.
It's basically a programmable radio. The hardware, the hardware is in there already, isn't it? The it's typical. It's going all blurry now. We're at the end. We know it's a VHF UHF. I know it did say two twenty megs, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but we know it's a VHF UHF DMR radio. It's got a good speaker, good microphone. It's got a color screen. It's got programmable buttons. It's, everything's there to experiment with. So I hope you find that interesting and. Catch you on air, 7.3, so it's the Open GD77 firmware, and thanks very much to the team that have made that. RT3S, Open GD77 firmware.